We're here with uh, tennis coach Patrick Dubois, and here we're here to talk about the Tulane match that happened this, this past weekend, and then moving forward to the Florida Atlantic tournament this weekend. First off, we'll talk about the Tulane match. You very easily could have beaten a very talented Tulane, Tulane team. What positives do you have to take from that match moving forward? Well, other than the result, I was very happy with the, with the match against Tulane. Uh, we all actually played very well. Uh, we came out in doubles the way we wanted to, aggressive, consistent in the process we like to play and, and won the point. And actually all singles matches did the same. Uh, Tulane, it was a very uh, evenly matched uh, lineups for both and uh, they just came out that day. But I think we can build on what we did. We did a lot of positive things that day. Yeah, you talked about the, you talked about the, about the, the very talented uh, matches and very evenly matches. Yeah, talk, a little, talk a little bit about the depth of your, of your team. Obviously, having six, They're obviously only having six last year, and moving forward, that you have eight. And then, I mean, Antonia didn't even play, and she she had a really good fall. So, you can talk a little bit about the depth of the team. Well, we feel like uh, we have eight players on our team, and, and we're very confident no matter who's in the lineup. and. And that's what makes it difficult for the eight student athletes. They all want to be in that top six and or top three doubles teams and play. And uh, but you know, from week to week, we always have a choice on what we want to do and how we want to match up. And uh, no matter who we have in the lineup, I feel like uh, we'll be successful. No, no. Uh, then, not uh, despite not having played a dual match yet, you have you have Ray at the number one spot. Just uh, kind of surprising, considering uh, Polina was the number one all last year. Was she? Uh, did she? Uh, was she? Uh, is this more matchup based, or was that just because she's playing so well in practice? Well, we have a few players who can play uh, in the top three or four anyway. Um, uh, Rhea's practiced with us for over a year. Uh, Polina came off uh, several weeks of rest. Uh, Due to an injury, and and uh, we'll, we'll see what happens down the road. But both are capable of playing the top spot, and uh, Rhea had a real good tournament at SMU. Played well, and uh, we'll just have to see what the future brings. And then finally, looking ahead to the Fort Atlantic tournament, this is starting on Friday. Now, now that you have a dual match behind you, uh, what do you hope to accomplish in Boca Raton this weekend? Well, we get to uh, have a lot of match play this weekend. It's a tournament style, uh, not dual matches, but it's tournament and, and we're guaranteed match play. And we're in Florida, usually a little uh, warm weather will come with that. Um, so we, we just hope to continue what we do in practice. We always work hard um, and we, we have a very good process on how we want to do things. And we hope to continue that in the match play at Florida Atlantic this weekend. Okay, thank you. Yeah, thank you.